The first step for projection in embroidery edit mode is to turn your projector on. So let's go ahead and just touch that. And then we'll turn this on. You have the choice of brightness and you also have the choice of background color. The original background color is basically a neutral, it's a black color, but what I like to do with projection is to actually um, change the color so I can see where the projection actually is. So I actually, I'm going to change it to a gray color and we'll, when we go over to look where our projection area is, what you're going to see is you're going to see a square or actually a rectangle. It's about two inches in front and about four in, in front of the needle and about four inches wide, a little bit more to the left of the needle. That's where your projection is. Down here, when you turn projection on, you're going to see the move hoop area come up or a move hoop come up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move the projection rectangle to about where we want our design to stitch out and we're going to do that by moving the hoop. I do want to call your attention to if you look at move hoop, this really is how the hoop itself is going to uh, be moving on the embroidery arm. So because of that, you will, um, if you press the up button, that's actually moving the hoop away from you. Thus, the projection area is coming toward you. So it's a little bit backwards maybe from what you're thinking about. But I want you to keep have a good eye on this. All right, so I want you to have a good eye on that. and. We're going to go ahead and go over and look at what it looks like in the hoop. So I hope you can now see, this is what I was talking about, the, um, in the projection area. It's about two inches in front of the needle, about three inches to the left and about an inch to the right of the needle. What I want to do is I'm going to put a design above this pocket. So I went ahead and hooped uh, this little chambray shirt and I want to put the embroidery up here above the pocket. So what I'm now going to do is move the hoop so my projection area is just above the pocket. So that's the first step. I like to go ahead and take the, the uh, area, so our projection area, and put it where I want it to be. So I'm going to move the hoop a little bit down and see how it just, I move the hoop toward me so basically the projection area is back. So that's when you're looking at move the hoop, that's what it means. So now I'm going to move to the left. So I actually move the hoop to the left with the arrow pointing to the left and it moved the projection area uh, right above where my pocket is. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I will say if you see a little bit of flickering, that's actually the videoing of the camera. So don't be alarmed. Um, it's not doing that on my uh, fabric. It just is doing that with the camera and it has to do with uh, different settings. So just realize what I've done is I've moved my projection area now is uh, just above the pocket. And our next step is to go ahead and choose our design. So we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna move over and choose the design on my screen. So now we're back in the embroidery edit screen and I do wanna call your attention again to the background color. Remember I changed it to gray so we could see that uh, rectangle. Um, at a certain point, I'll probably change it back to the black color that is the default. Um, and that is done by, again, touching that little set of circles, that little uh, colorful rainbow circle, and basically moving these little, um, little handles around. I'm going to keep it in gray right now, so you'll, but I just wanted you to see that. So again, it, when, I, when we go back to the hoop and I mentioned to you about changing the color, you're going to choose that little um, circle with the, or the rainbow circle. Um, it's basically my background. That's my change color icon. And I can either move this or I can just choose a quick color. But basically, I'm going to keep this here for now. So I'm just going to choose back. 
here was that move hoop, everyone. Here was that move hoop. So what I did is I moved the hoop down toward me. So I used that bottom uh, arrow. I'm not moving the, the projection area. I'm moving the hoop toward me here. And then I moved it to the left. And actually that, that's what made my design. You'll get used to it. It just, you have to think about it a little bit differently that you're actually moving the hoop. So that's really important. All right. So now let's just, I'm just gonna, the projection is still on. I just moved it away so it isn't showing on the screen anymore. So it isn't showing on the screen. I have chosen um, in birds and insects, this really cute little dragonfly down here on the corner. So I'm just bringing that in and I'm just gonna bring it up here on the screen. And so what I'm actually doing is right there, I have my dragonfly on the screen. And um, for any of you who have worked with uh, precise positioning or have looked at our video on precise positioning, you know you kind of do things in steps. You set up, you know, you kind of work on the screen and then you look at the hoop. And that's what we're gonna do here is uh, look at the screen look at the screen here and then we're going to look at the hoop so it goes back and forth so um let's go ahead and do that i you saw me i just i'm going to move this around here so you can see when i say i'm going to touch and move my dragonfly you're going to see it moving in the hoop through the projection and also i'm going to move this little guy up for a minute to get it out of the way because i'm going to touch my hoop options made sure I, I actually, I wanted to touch edit design, but this actually gives me, uh, if you look here, the, the 120 by 120 hoop is what I have set up. But I wanna go to edit design and edit design actually allows me to mirror image or to rotate or do different things like that. So if by chance I say, you know, we're gonna mirror image, that's where I would go. I would go to edit design and mirror image. Um, remember this great little thing here. If you don't know what some of those things are, go ahead and touch the I button and it'll give you that information. All right, so I'm gonna close out of that for the moment. So now we're gonna go back to the hoop. You're gonna see the design projected and uh, then we're gonna get it placed by just moving the design and rotating on screen. So now you can see the projection area here and you can also see uh, the dragonfly. It's a little dim. I'm gonna show you how to uh, work with that. Again, the flickering is all because of the camera. It's not really happening on screen, on, uh, on the uh, hoop. But basically now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, right? And you can see the dragonfly moving in the hoop projection or in the projection area. That's why I like to get the projection area close first and then bring in my design. So I had mentioned to you about changing back to that background color back to black. And now this is the reason why, because now check it out. Once I have the projection where I want it to be, when I change that background area to black, I can really see my design a lot better, right? And then I can rotate it if I want to by using my rotation handle. I can turn it all the way around. I can have fun with it and see exactly where this little guy is gonna be. And so making sure that uh, I have it in the, the place where I want it to be. So I'm gonna turn that a little bit that way. I'm gonna bring it up over here. And I'm actually gonna, and I'm doing this all on the screen while I'm watching the hoop. So hopefully you guys are seeing how it, you can see it right in the hoop where everything is going to be. And I want to make sure I'm not going to catch my, uh, that uh, edge uh, as I'm going along. So I'm just going to, again, make sure I'm, I'm, I've got this where I want it to be. Now, everyone, if you notice what I just did here um, is you, you don't see the top part of my, um, of my dragon dragonfly and that's because the design is slightly larger than the projection area. So with that being said, I can go ahead and move my hoop a little bit. 
And when I move the hoop down, what I'm doing is I'm losing the bottom part of the projection, but I'm seeing the top part. So that's why that move hoop is really cool is that, okay, now I see where the top part of my dragonfly is gonna be. And then I can come back. And I'm not actually, I'm moving the hoop, so I'm not actually moving the design anymore. I'm just looking in projection to see exactly where that's going to be. And it's going to align perfectly on top of my pocket. So um, I'm just going to pause a moment here. And then what I want to share with you is we're just going to go through those steps again. All right. So um, projection really cool. And let's go ahead and uh, go through the steps one more time. All right, everybody. So step one, that was to turn on the projection. And I kind of gave you my little hint is to change the background color to a little bit lighter color. And then that's going to show up on your um, in your hoop. And you can see where that projection area is going to be. So you can see where you want everything to be. The next step is to choose your design and you choose your design by going to the little flower. And then in this case, again, I chose birds and insects and chose my little dragonfly down there at the bottom. So choose your design. Once you do that, then you're gonna come over and look in the hoop area and make sure that your design is where you want it to be and that's where you can move your design here on screen, look and see where it is and uh, then you can rotate if you choose. So that's your next step is getting the design where you want it to be on your screen, on your uh, garment, so, or project, or wherever you want it to be on whatever you're making. And the other little tip is, again, I'm gonna come back here and actually choose my little rainbow, the change color, and go back to that black. And when I touch okay, now I can see my design a little bit better. So get that projection area first with a lighter color background, get that where you want it to be. Choose your design so you can see what part of the design is being projected. And then lastly, turn off the background. Now, if I did want to move my, um, my dragonfly up a little bit, that's where I would actually move, maybe move my hoop down just a little bit. So I just moved my hoop down and now I can move my dragonfly up. But that projection lets you see, you can move the design. So I'm just gonna try and turn just a little bit and zoom in just a little bit more because you can, if you look over there, you can move the design completely out of the projection area. And that I think can be a little bit con confusing. So that's why I like to put the projection area in place first and then work with my design. All right, when you touch go, the projection today will go away, but in the future, um, it will still be there when you go into your embroidery stitch out mode.